Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Geek and Sun Tables for Gamers. Yes, that's right folks, I'm actually going to get a gaming table, I cannot believe it. I am super stoked and I'm here to talk a little bit about it because it's actually interesting, this is going to be a multi-part video, I'm just doing part one today because as it turns out, these things take a few months to make and the background story is I actually meant the geek of Geek and Son, a nice guy named Marcin, at Essen 2014 this year. And he was telling me and my wife Jen about their goals for Geek and Son's line of gaming furniture and how, you know, they are actually trying to make high quality furniture that is much more affordable than the other alternatives that are on the market right now because tables like this can be crazy expensive. But, th you know, this particular line that the Geek and Son, Marcin, is doing can be gone gotten for a fraction of the regular price. So we talked quite a bit and about how we could actually get one of these tables from, I believe they're made in Poland, down here to Malta. And the, the deal is struck. It's being worked on right now. They've actually ordered the lumber. And my understanding is over the next couple of months as they're making it, they're going to take pictures along the way and send them to me so we can see our baby being built. And um, when that happens, I will let you guys have the experience of what it would be like if you were to get one of these tables because then you would get updates and stuff like that. So to talk a little bit more, actually, I'm not going to bother talking about it. I will show you this uh, line of tables, although you can see more about the table and its costs and all that stuff at, as you can see, www.geekin.com. SON.com, Geek and Son. But they just put up a video of this weekend showing the Dennis gaming table. And I'm just going to go on ahead and play it. Hopefully, this will play smoothly. And it shows some of the features of the basic line. This is actually, you know, hot off the assembly line, one of their copies. As you can see, the first thing is the notion that there is the vault floor. I believe the one I'm getting is actually going to be white, much like, you know, the tabletop I film on right now. Then on top of that, I'm really excited about this, being able to get a, a clear acrylic layer that goes on top of the vault. Because Jen and I, I mean, we play a lot of prototypes on a lot of paper maps. I mean, you've seen us, you, you've seen me trying to do this. And right now, we've just got a piece of acrylic that we took off of a picture frame, which is less than ideal. So I'm very excited, as you can see this being demonstrated here, being able to finally lay these paper boards I've got flat so I can film them a little bit more nicely. And um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and then obviously just really, really nice. And also, we can keep the plexiglass in the table. We don't have to store it in Jen's work room, like, which is what we basically do right now. Now, this next thing is super awesome. You will notice, boom, this is a lit table. Now, it's funny. This was actually Jen's idea. When Jen started talking to Marcin, this was the first thing that came in her mind. LED lights that you know you could add so you could make really cool atmosphere. If you want to have a dungeon crawl and make for some really interesting, creepy lighting, you can actually have that. Apparently, those LED strips are programmable so they can do strobing and flashing. They can be different colored lighting, as you can see right here. Um, if you ever wanted to play in some kind of futuristic, I don't know, cyberpunk... Um, uh, casino rolling tons of dice you can see that so that's actually a really really cool feature very very unique nobody else really has it out there and so I can't wait to actually see this in real life now the actual fabric that this guy is rolling on that Marston is rolling on in this demo is actually really nice too it's a very very high quality fabric that's used for gambling tables so that'll be nice I'm not constantly chipping um, cards trying to pick them up one-handed in videos but this I'm probably I'm more excited about than anything else I truly understand the value of a vaulted table the fact that at any given time you may have noticed in the background when I'm filming videos generally there's the game I'm filming and then there's like a big mess on the other side of the table that at all times our living room to our dining our dining table is full of crap for the games I'm setting up and whatnot I cannot wait for this feature right here because I expect what will happen is pretty much most of the time I will have half of my table covered up so that you know yeah there's a game under there I'm learning the rules for whatever we can just cover it up and we can eat dinner without having to push games aside and when we're ready to play the game it's super easy just push a little button and the uh, the leaves just pop up and out just like that and then I can cover up the next game and so I can just keep switching back and forth between the table super super stoked about that super stoked about the whole thing and that's really it that is, as it stands right now, Geeks and Son tables 
as more information comes up, I will definitely post. And otherwise, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Watch for more coming soon. So long.